So earlier, the much-awaited goods and services tax and now become, bill now becomes a law with the president giving his assent to it and uh, 16 states have been ratified it. Speaking out to us uh, on the phone line is the Revenue Secretary Hasmuk Adia. Very warm welcome to you, sir. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, first of all, your reaction now that the bill has been passed, it's a law. What is the roadmap ahead? Well, uh, the next step for us is to go to the cabinet and uh, have approval for the formation of the GST council, which is the first step that we have to take now. And uh, that I expect should happen. Huge infrastructure in terms of IT because uh, there will be very little on paper and then also the tax net will be widening. How would you say preparations to that end are progressing? Well, as far as the infrastructure creation is concerned, that's a task we had started long ago. And that is simultaneously going on. We are not going to stop in that. Right. The preparations are dot on spot, and we hope to meet with the deadlines uh, very strictly. So that is not a matter of worry. The main thing is in the next two months, we have to flesh out all the major points with uh, the states in the meeting of GST Council. So all the major decisions to be taken relating to the implementation such as the, the uh, draft law, the draft GST law, the exemption limit, the issue of uh, dual control or cross empowerment and the issue of rate structure of the GST. These are some of the main things which we need to discuss and decide in the meeting of GST Council. Right. And in terms of the common man, in terms of the consumer, how does he benefit? Although there is a vague idea that the common man has that now he will have to pay just one single tax, but how does it really work? How is it going to work? Well, it is in this direction that we are also making a plan of action, which will mean that we will be reaching out to as many people as possible throughout the country in terms of holding town hall meetings, in terms of giving advertisement, in terms of putting small, small uh, uh, information clips in the social media so that people themselves can just open it and understand what is GST. One such thing is the in the interview which I have given, which is already going around in the social media. And so people are already being made aware about it, but th there will be further dissemination of information by way of huge publicity campaign also. Right. There are still a number of states which have not uh, accepted this. How does it work Hello? when it comes? Right, sir, Mr. Adia, if you can hear me. Hello. Right, Mr. Adia, I was referring to those states which have not uh, accepted the GST. How does it work in their case? Are, are, are you in talks with them so that uh, they could also accept? Well, we seem to have lost contact there with the Revenue Secretary Hasmuk Adia speaking there on the phone line with uh, the various implications now that the GST, the Goods and Services Tax Bill, has become a law with the, uh, with the President having given his assent.